Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. And today, guys, we are taking another cheeky look at VeChain. Uh, Chris, this is one of your favorite projects. Uh, it's one of your biggest bags as well. Um, and yeah. you know, we're going to be looking at the, we're going to look at the charts, Chris. We're going to go through some of the detail that we can see there, uh, and we're going to talk about uh, the potential of a new all-time high just around the corner. Uh, anything you want to add? No, my biggest bag. Love this project. The fundamentals are fantastic. Let's get straight into it, Nick. Fantastic. As always, guys, if you find it useful, informative, uh, or just a dash entertaining, go ahead and smash that like button because Chris really does appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with all that said and done, let's take a look at uh, the VeChain charts. Super. Fantastic. So the weekly chart um, does show that uh, VET uh, basically has finally moved uh, above the uh, 2.2 area, right? And that's fantastic, which obviously has led uh, or has been acting as resistance uh, since I think July 2020. Now I can go ahead and uh, throw this onto the weekly chart so we can just get a better view of what that looks like. Um, but here you can see what we're talking about, right? We can see that uh, basically the weekly chart was ahead and quite significantly so of that 2.2 cents. Um, so ultimately, uh, you know, on January the 6th, we reached a new all-time high um, for VET and VeChain. Um, so the VET token, uh, and I should reference it as a VET token, Chris, really, because it is a dual token system, right? So we're not talking about V4, we are talking about VET. Um, and that was uh, 3.2 cents. So uh, basically after the breakout, VET uh, validated the level of support, or sorry, as support uh, in the form of a very long uh, wick, uh, long lower wick. And you can see that uh, basically here, right? You can see just how bad that wick really was on the weekly chart. Um, but uh, basically, you know, um, the technical indicators in the weekly time frame um, are uh, are bullish, right? They uh, and support uh, uh, the continuation of an upward trend. So um, this week closing is a, a fantastic indication of what is yet to come. Um, so really looking forward to that. Um, and there are some crypto traders out there that uh, basically outline um, a VET chart stating that the price is likely to move to um, up to 3.1, which is the area that I have scoped out on my chart here. Uh, you can see it on this gray line. That's the 3.16 cent to be specific, right? Um, and basically VET, uh, you know, has broken out uh, and reached a new all-time high of the 3.2, which is uh, basically what this this particular week's candle is representing, right? We have the high wick here and we also have the lower end as well. Um, but there are some short-term movements as well and we can see that on the daily chart quite obviously. Um, so as I uh, go ahead and throw this back into a, uh, a daily chart, we can see the volatility a little bit clearer. Um, but ultimately, you know, the daily chart uh, basically reiterates the significance of the uh, 2.2 support area, uh, which previously acted as uh, resistance in July and August uh, of 2020. And, um, you know, even in 2020 uh, of August, we had those all time high levels as well. And we just keep reaching new all time highs. And it's really, really good to see that. Um, so, you know, while VET has uh, validated this area as support, and, you know, we're talking about that 2.2 cent again. Um, you know, the technical indicators are uh, not entirely bullish, uh, both the RSI and the MACD, you can see here on the chart as well, uh, have begun to decrease, uh, and it depends on where you look uh, you know, in, in terms of that, right? So um, if we look at the MACD, we've seen that uh, we were incredibly bullish here on the daily, it was uh, very, very positive, uh, and the motion was definitely on the upward trend. Uh, recently, the MACD crossed uh, and has caused us to be uh, a bit more, you know, uh, I guess bearish with the candles coming down, retesting some key areas. Um, but we are getting a cross again, and that's an incredibly positive bullish sign. And the same scenario here with the RSI, right, where we can see that we were higher up. Uh, and this basically indicates an oversold or overbought, um, sorry, overbought area. And um, so basically too much um, buying has been going on in that particular zone. So you would naturally going to come back down. However, uh, this is indicating that we're actually entering kind of like an equilibrium, uh, an area that uh, is going to see um, some positive candles in, in the upward trend, which we have been seeing in the last few days. So long may that continue. Uh, you might get uh, you know a little bit of a, a downward trend here, um, but it's still going to show us a positive result in the end in forms of positive bullish candles. 
Um, so the RSI is trading, uh, you know, quite comfortably. Um, it is above 50, um, it is approaching 70. It's not yet above 70, so that's okay. Um, so the MACD, as I said, is, is having that cross as well, and that's an incredibly positive thing. The two hours chart uh, shows VET uh, doing a few additional things, and we can go ahead and throw that into a two hour chart. And what I can do is just expand that a little bit so we can see a little bit clearer what's actually going on. I'm just going to go ahead and put my pointer on so we can move this around a little bit. Um, so there we go. Right. So um, when it comes to the two hourly chart, uh, basically it shows that VET is trading inside a parallel uh, ascending channel. Um, and uh, basically, if we were to draw this on, it would look something like this. So I'm going to grab it from about here uh, and we'll do that. Uh, and we'll draw it um, from here. And actually, I might have to readjust this a little bit because those wicks are a little bit frustrating. Um, so I might have to ignore that wick scenario. I think I'm going to have to just pull this uh, in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably have to take it from there uh, and there. And what we'll do is we'll call that wick there a bit of an anomaly. Um, close down there that we'll just have to leave that but ultimately this is the channel that we're referencing and um, so we've had uh, basically touches down here we've been touching it here we've obviously been here uh, and here so it's a pretty strong upward trend and that's clear to see on this two hourly chart um, it's a little frustrating about that wick but sometimes they can form uh, those anomalies um, so yeah there's an ascending channel uh, and basically that movement uh, in a movement that appears to be um, corrective. Okay, so basically we're up, we're down, and basically we're bouncing in, and I'm expecting a bit of a breakout in the near um, future here on the um, on the VET token. So, um, despite short-term indicators being bullish, uh, there is the uh, the persistence of the channel and approximately, you know, um, to the three cent resistance area at points uh, to a rejection. Now, we are pretty firmly, uh, you know, comfortably in a, in a nice zone in, in regards to that. So we can see here that the three, three cent area, right? And um, it's going to be really interesting to see how this thing plays out because there's a few things that uh, we need to obviously point out on this two hourly chart. The first one is obviously we have a positive MACD line and we can see that. We also have an RSI that is not yet over bought. Yes, it's above 50, um, but not above 70. So that's a real good indication that we could still see some good momentum up. And ultimately, I do feel that we are going to be approaching a new all time high uh, very, very soon with um, with the VET token here. So yes, uh, there are there is still the potential at three cents to be rejected uh, that we could reject from there. But ultimately, it is still looking pretty good. Um, so there is a few other things that we could look at in here, such as the wave count, uh, suggesting that VET uh, is either in a uh, four or a five way, um, a wave uh, of a bullish impulse uh, that uh, began on the uh, November the 20th. Um, it is uh, possible that VET uh, has completed a fourth wave of a pullback, so we could potentially be on an upward trend because of that. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out as well. Um, so the likely target uh, at, for the top of the entire impulse, if it is a uh, in that fourth wave, uh, would be like four cents and four point five cents, and that's something that we speak about a lot on this channel, where we have our um, I'll throw this back onto a daily, so we can get a bit of a clearer view. And what I'm going to do is just pull that down. We can see we have a four point three cent target here, okay, and that's our um, basically our first uh, basically. Um, Fibonacci extension level. This is the 1.618 and it's indicating 4.3 cents. So that ultimately that's looking pretty good at the moment as well. So we could be somewhere in between 4 and 4.5, um, you know, if you take those Fib extensions. Um, so really interesting to see that one play out as well. Um, and yeah, ultimately I think uh, we're, in, we're in for some interesting times, Chris, in terms of what could be seen here um, for uh, the VET token in the short term. Now, as part of the long term play, Chris, uh, I've scoped out 50 cents. Uh, I feel that we're going to be somewhere between 50 cent and one cent as a high of a bull cycle this year. Um, and if we get to 50 cent from our current position, that represents 1500% um, growth um, from the current position. And I know you're a big VET holder, Chris, so that would be significant mm. gains for yourself. Yeah, it'd be massive gains for, for myself. Um, but I can see it going further in, you know, in the long term um so 
yeah, I'm really bullish on this project, Nick. Yeah, absolutely. I, I keep buying VeChain because, you know, um, it, it's so undervalued. And the project, if you do your own research, which I highly recommend that you do, uh, it is a, a fantastic project that is touching so many different businesses in really positive ways. Um, so definitely check out and do your own research into VeChain. We cover quite a bit of the, the news stuff here on the channel as well. Um, but do mm -hmm. recommend uh, doing your own research, digging deep into what VeChain are trying to do, because uh, ultimately it's an absolutely fantastic project doing some fantastic things in the real world. And although, you know, real utility um, doesn't make too much difference to the price movements today, uh, we are a believer that in the future, um, that is going to be fundamentally different and the use case and utility will make a difference and, and will uh, represent uh, true value in terms of the price tokens, uh, the tokens of the price going forward, as we, specifically as we kind of enter more of a mainstream adoption of blockchain uh, around the 2025 era or so. Um, so guys, do uh, do your own research, check it out, highly recommend it. Um, and uh, yeah, there's, uh, I think, so much potential in VeChain. Yeah, definitely. Fantastic project, Nick. Absolutely. So guys, if you find it useful, uh, informative, or just maybe a dash, you know, entertaining, um, you know, my puppet here, he picks up, uh, he speaks occasionally, um, you know, he appreciates every single one of those likes. Um, and if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And with all that said and done, we hope you have a fantastic day, guys, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care.